Hey guys, it's Covert Arms and this is budget comm setup number two. This is a series, we're going over a bunch of my favorite budget comms loadouts. I'm going to be breaking down their price and the reasons why I chose each part of this equipment. So essentially with budget comm loadouts, I'm just trying to create setups that give you the best bang for your buck regarding comms capabilities. We need to have a radio that we can use to talk and listen to, while hopefully in most of these cases providing adequate hearing protection. There's some solutions that don't do that, but for this one it does. This one utilizes a UV5R radio, a multi-mount mic, and Walker's razors, which was great for me because I already actually had the Walker's razors and the UV5R when I went about creating this setup a little while ago. Really like this setup, it's super streamlined, but let's get into each of these parts. The UV5R is all around great radio for the price. 100% there's better out there. I'm not gonna deny that there's waterproof options, there's encryption, we can, this is not that video, but the reason I include the UV5R here is because for the bang for the buck, it's the best you're gonna get for that price point. And it's really, really budget. If you want to upgrade, you can, but I'm just basing my accessories off of that. On the UV5R, we got a PTT guard. That's an essential for all of my radios because I like to put them in pouches and things, and sometimes those pouches, when they're tighter, can toggle the radio. That's a serious problem. You don't want that happening. So I slapped that on there. Plus there's a volume ring knob. What this, uh, or a volume knob ring, it's a little ring that goes around your volume knob and it prevents it from accidentally turning, makes it a little bit harder to turn. But as a, a person, it's very easy to turn. It just can't be bumped at all. Really like that and that's a super budget accessory. Obviously you can get different antennas, different batteries, or different radios entirely. But all the accessories on this radio leaves in the budget category. That's why it's in this video. Moving over to the multi-mount mic, that's what allows us to actually talk and the method by which we connect to the Walker's razors. I've got a multi-mount mic PTT P2. I can verify this works with the multi-mount mic. This isn't the most budget PTT. The most budget one is the P1. This one's a little bit more expensive, but it's got waterproofing. I like the feel of the button a lot more. It's a larger area. And it also looks pretty sweet in general. So that's why I threw it in this video. You don't need that, but technically, for me, when I'm running my razors, I like to use the P2 personally. Moving on to the multi-mount mic. The multi-mount mic is a Velcro attachment mic system. Really strong Velcro, this thing does not fall off. Sticks on the side of your Walker's razors. And by plugging in this 3.5 millimeter, I got a comms capable headset, just like that. But it's essential to have the PTT for that to work and the Walker's Razors. I really like my Walker's Razors in general, mainly because of their feel. They feel great, they're reliable. Now I have had some issues personally with the directional sound on these units. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think it may come down to, honestly, a quality control issue. Not exactly sure what's going on there, and I've heard mixed reviews about it online too. Some people say they do, some people say they don't. But I really like the feel, and for many of my use cases, I don't really need directional sound. That's a user preference. You might want to choose one option over another because of that, but I like these personally. And for a lot of my use cases, it works just fine. So there you go. All these parts working together create a budget comm system, and I've added up the pricing. I got a, a reference sheet here. So when we go over each of these parts at their current market value at the time of recording this video, I was able to assemble this entire kit for around $200, just over the actual price without shipping or tax or any of that came out to $203, which is not bad for a budget comm system considering if you're ordering higher end like Comtax, just the headset and the mic is going to cost you three times that price point minimum. That's not including the PTT or the radio or any of those accessories. So that's not bad for a budget comms loadout. And that's why I'm doing these videos. I hope to save you guys a little bit of money because in my mind and for my use case personally in my experience, a system like this works just fine for me and is gonna save me a lot of money in the long run. So there you go, that's budget comp setup number two. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these setups. There are a, a lot I've got on this list, some that I think you'll, you'll find really useful with a lot of secrets and tips. So make sure you subscribe, we'll be going through all of those. Like the video if you enjoy this information and leave in the comments what equipment I should be testing that I haven't yet, what you wanna see. Let me know what system you guys are running. And thank you for watching. I'll put all the links to each of these parts in the description of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.